presidential campaign, Pavel described himself as a right of center with a strong social emphasis. In 2019, he argued that rich people should pay higher taxes and support stronger redistribution of wealth. He has cited the Scandinavian countries as, his, as an inspiration. Let's bring in Mr. David Pulver, former Czech Republic UN Youth Delegate, Dentos, the largest law firm, as the advisor to the Deputy Minister of Justice of Czech Republic in Legislative Matters. Thanks for joining us this evening. Hello, Rayron. Nice to meet you again. And hello to all the listeners. Let's start with Global Affairs Insider. Months after elections, can you still describe President Pavel as right of center, a promise he asserted during his presidential campaign? I think we can still describe uh, President Pavel as uh, right of center. Uh, he started with uh, many of the things he promised before, especially uh, as our constitutional court, Czech constitutional court has 50 uh, members and the members are elected for 10, day, 10, 10 years. Uh, they are nominated by the president and then approved by the Senate. He immediately started to uh, uh, start the new mandate of many of the constitutional uh, judges, uh, which is very important for like flu and the justice and law system in Czech Republic, which is very important, which is which is of the relevant stakeholder with right or right of center, we can say. So he's still trying to emphasize the importance of tax reforms, which also have to be socially uh, responsible. So uh, I believe that he really still is right of center, as he promised before. Another province policy President Pavel said during the presidential campaign was on tax reforms. He firmly believed that rich should pay higher taxes. How is the current tax policies in Czech Republic, what direction does the Pavel administration navigating in its tax reform programs? Uh, important to note is that in Czech Republic, uh, the president has more or less a representative function. He can function as a moderator in a way uh, between the government and the opposition. He can be that, but uh, the uh, president himself uh, does not have uh, many opportunities how to influence the legislative process. Uh, however, uh, he uh, potentially can have legislative initiative. But uh, the thing the president is uh, is now, we can say, uh, holding its position on taxes was, as I said before, uh, now the economic state of Czech Republic is a bit troubling. Uh, the debt is increasing. Uh, and it's not very easy as the inflation was about 20% in the previous months. So uh, that's a very big challenge, uh, the economic non-stable situation. And the emphasis of Pavel's policy is not to tax the wealth more, but to do tax reforms, which will be responsible to the social people and that they will still be respected and also very economically responsible. So they will be strict and we will stop the indebtedness of Czech Republic. How important is Polo to the political reforms of President Pavel? Yeah, well, I think uh, like with uh, uh, they are very, very important of high importance. I think he has a very good, uh, uh, very good position uh, as he is respected by the both by the government and the opposition as well. So I think he works as a very good mediator and I think he has a very big possibility of of actually uh, moving the things forward. As I said before, even though the president has, uh, in comparison to the government and the parliament, smaller uh, position concerning the legislative process, I think President Pavel is trying to do his best and exercise all the rights he has. How would you describe the leadership style of President Pavel as a local observer? as a Czech national? 
No, I think what was important in comparison with the previous president, and I'm now I'm not saying if he was right or wrong, our previous president, Miloš Seman, but uh, what was very uh, uh, seen a lot was that he was a bit divisive. So you had people who were in favor of Mr. Zeman and against him. And uh, President Pavel, one of the first things said that he like to uh, stop the division and you know bring the people back together and i think he still does that and he's continuing on his promise even though it's very hard especially as the economic situation is troubling then all of the people are a bit hard to say tired of the politics and everything else but uh, i think he's trying to bring people back together and also it's very important that he's trying to visit all the regions of Czech Republic, especially the socially excluded ones. And he's trying to talk not only with the people who favor him, but also with the people who are against him, which is very important. And it was not seen in the last years before, during the presidency of Mr. Zeman. So that's a big difference. So what can we look forward in the coming months under the Pavel administration? Oh, uh, that's, I think what can we look forward will be uh, the focus on tax reforms and stopping the indebtedness, which is very uh, important topic now in Czech Republic. So I think that's what brings, will bring the next days of Pavel uh, uh, administracy will be concerning the tax reforms. Sir David Ulver, former Czech Republic UN Youth Delegate, Dentos, the largest firm as the advisor to the Deputy Minister of Justice of Czech Republic in legislative matters. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me. This is Dr. Rayron Del Rosario. That's the Global Affairs Insider. Follow us to our next episode only here in IPDCA News Channel.